Okay, guys, thank you for getting on the Team Fit and Fabulous call. It is August 26th. We are nearing the end of the month. And just so everybody knows, even if you're at zero success club points, there is still time. I promise you, there's been times where I'm at zero at this time, and I'm like, okay. I just have to dial it in. I usually just like refer back to the Success Club SOS document and just hightail it. So it is definitely possible. Do not give up. If you've got two or four points, even, even more doable. So you guys can do this. Um, tonight's call is going to be using Asana. And we have Gabby and Marissa to, to teach us all about that and what they've been doing with it. So I will go ahead and hand it over to you ladies. Perfect. Well, I'm going to apologize in advance because there's a large chance that my little dogs are going to start getting yappy at some point. So fingers crossed that we're avoiding that tonight. <laughs> well, <clears throat> Marissa and I discovered Asana a little while back, close to when we first started, through some video link through Tara Porter. And I'm going to link that back to you guys um, because I think it's a, it's a quick, like, maybe 10-minute video that I think everyone should watch. It has a lot of great information in it, and it's how we got started ourselves. Um, so we started using Asana when we first did our giveaway that we got a lot of new people interested in the, in the business with us and um, doing a challenge with us. <clears throat> so we had to keep track of all the new customers that we were getting. So we started using Asana, and that's essentially, obviously, what we're going to be showing you guys tonight. So Marissa and I are going to be taking turns um, doing screen shares and kind of showing you guys how we use it ourselves. Um, obviously, you can use it in whatever way works best for you, but this is how we've been using it, and we've had a lot of success with it so far. So I'm going to share my screen with you guys. Um, thumbs up from someone if they can see it. Perfect. <laughs> All right. So first off, everything that you see on this side right here is called a project. No matter what it is, it's called a project. Projects for us include we have a templates, morning tasks, afternoon tasks, um, old contacts, customers, coaches, new coach checklists. We'll be going over some of those with you. But those are our projects. They might not actually be a traditional you know, project, but that's just what this website calls them. <laughs> To get started, I'm going to show you guys what we use templates for. Um, templates for us are scripts that are easy to copy and paste and personalize. So when someone sends us a email, we can literally just copy and paste the information that we want right from the site, personalize it as we need to to that person, and <clears throat> be ready to go. Um, we have conversation points in here. Like if someone says that a program is too expensive, we have another copy and paste thing that we can use on them. Obviously, you're going to want to personalize it for every person. Otherwise, it's not going to sound very genuine. But that's how we've been doing it so far. Um, we also have standardized documents in here. We have video links. Um, so if someone wants to see specific programs, we have some right here for you guys. And we have various instructions like how to cancel or modify someone's Shakeology. So it's all just right here and easily accessible for us. So every time someone has a question or someone has a response to us, for the most part, we try and keep it in our templates so that way we can easily get to it and quickly get back to people. <clears throat> first things first, I wanted to show you guys how to make a project and then how to make a task. I'm not gonna go into it too much, but just so you can get the general idea. Um, really easy to start a project. You just click the little plus sign right here, and I'm going to call it Hi. Create a project. Done and done. To start a new task, I'm going to go back into templates to show you so you can see how it looks with the other ones. You're just going to go into New and New Task. And from there, I can add whatever I want into the description. Like if I wanted it to be a specific email that I just wanted to copy and paste to people, that's where I would put that. <clears throat> um, I also wanted to show you guys that you can, super cool, add files to these. So these are some of the banners that we've used for various things or might want to use for various things or want to personalize. So we have them all right here. So Marissa and I can use it as a way to share files with one another really easily. Um, just by adding the files to this program and they're all right here for us. Super easy. 
makes it really nice for us. And with the pictures, like you can see, obviously, there's actual examples of the pictures. Um, to attach files, I should probably show you that really quick. Also really easy. There's this little tiny attachment icon right here. Pulls it up really nicely, and then you can just click and add something. Um, that's the basics on templates. I'm actually going to stop screen sharing right now because Marissa's going to start showing you guys how to do contacts, and she's going to take over for a second. <coughs> Um, so let me share my screen with you. Um, actually, what I'm going to go over with you next is how we use our daily task list. So as a Beachbody coach, you know, one of the many things that you need to be doing is working from a list. Always, always be working from a list. So uh, Asana is really good for that because you can create however many lists you want and they actually have check marks. So if you're like me, you can actually put a check mark next to everything you've done and it'll wipe it out for the day. So I tend to do my office hours in three blocks, morning, afternoon, and evening. So I go down here to my morning tasks and I have a list of every single task that I want to do each morning. And I go in here every single morning and every time I've put this on a repeat schedule um, and I'm going to show you how to do that. But when I finish a task, I just go over here and I check it off and then it'll populate the next one. So if I want to add in a new task every day, um, I can type correctly for starters. No. Nope. And then you can go up here and see this due date here. You can tell it when you wanna do that task. So I wanna do it tomorrow, and I also wanna do it at 9 a.m. The other thing that I want to do, this is getting in my way now, um, is make it a recurring task, which is right here, recurring task. And I want it to repeat every single day. So that's all it takes to do that. And now I have a new task to check off that will populate every single morning. Um, you can obviously put in whatever tasks you want, but I have things like making my posts, checking into my challenge groups, messaging two people every morning. And the same goes for your afternoon tasks and your evening tasks. So I have filling in your business activity tracker, writing to your success partner. Um, so now I talk to Gabby all day, every day. So writing to her is not really an issue. But if you're just kind of getting to know your success partner and you don't really know what you should be checking in with, I put this description over here as a list of things that I want to be checking in with my success partner every single day about. I'm going to tell her how much personal development time I got in. I'm going to tell her my goals for the upcoming week. I'm going to tell her who I invited to challenge groups, who I added to my network, and any new supporting things that I think are important that I've done for today. And that's really all there is to it. And like I said, every time you finish something, you just check it off and sometimes you get a pretty unicorn. I don't know why that happens. Uh, per se, but um, I think that's pretty much it for tasks. So now Gabby's going to talk to you about tracking all of your contacts and new people that you're connecting with in your network. All right, so I'm going to take over again. I hope that multiple screen shares isn't confusing you guys because it's happening either way. <laughs> Kelsey likes it, so. <laughs> All right, so one thing I wanted to clear up really quick, and sorry, Riss, I didn't know if you were gonna talk about this or not, I can't remember. Um, the reason that on this side, it might look different from Marissa's, I don't know if you've noticed at all, and that there are these little tiny um, locks right here, is because these ones are the ones that are private to me. So there's no reason for on Marissa's screen it to have two morning tasks, two afternoon tasks. These ones are the ones that just show up on my screen. We keep our templates open um, because there might be a template that she has that I don't have and vice versa. So that way we can share templates. I mean, we're partners. This is a company that's supposed to be, you know, duplicate. I'm not going to pretend like I'm going to be able to say that word right now. Be able to be um, copy and pasted. <laughs> um, so we have templates that we both are, you know, willing to share with each other. So those are all right there and open to each other. We have some that are open or not open um, for normally, just so we can share them easily with you guys. <clears throat> but I just wanted to explain that really quick. So 
there are a couple different versions of contacts I have in here. I have active contacts, old contacts, customers, and coaches. So for a lot of people, we are told in the beginning, for everyone, we're told in the beginning to write down, you know, the hundred names that we want to contact. Um, the link that I'm going to show you with Tara Porter, she keeps everyone that she wants to contact in the old contacts. Um, I have just those people written down. <clears throat> I have them written down on paper, and as I start contacting them, I add them to my active contact list, <laughs> and that is these people right here. Um, and then after I contact them and they're not responsive to what I'm saying, or they're not interested, or they ignore me, or you know whatever the case is, I eventually will move them over to my old contact list. And you'll see some of these aren't full names. There'll be people I connected with on Instagram, or that I just got their first name through emails, whatever the case may be. It's a lot longer than my other list, and that's completely fine because I've been able to move people from my old contacts to my active contacts already. But these are just people that I like to have their name in here because if they ever come up, I like to know what I've talked to them about, what I've sent them already. And I can do that by, um, let's see, I'll click on someone's name. Going in here, and I can see how I met them. I used that for the description. I met them through the giveaway entry, their email, their Instagram name, if I have it, or you know, the Facebook name, whatever you have information wise. It's how I've contacted these people. And then in the comments down here, you can write whatever you want. And this is where I use the information of what I've sent to them already. So this is just initial email sent, they never responded, um, so I didn't do a follow up because it was just someone that entered for the giveaway, so I didn't want to bug them. Um, but say they responded to that, I would write in here that they responded and then what I've sent them afterwards. If I've sent them a link to a video, I'll put it in here so I don't send them the same link twice. Things like that. For active contacts, I will also use this as my reminder to follow up with people. I've done a lot of my follow-ups already this week, um, so I don't have a ton in here for this week I'll, at the moment. But in calendar mode, so in list mode, this is where everyone's name is just listed. In calendar mode, which is the icon one over, I can actually see who I need to contact every single day. So today I need to follow up with Brandy, tomorrow I need to follow up with Cassandra and Rachel, <laughs> um, which is just super handy so that way I don't forget anyone. If I know that someone, I sent someone a link to order and it's a week later and I knew that you know, in four days I wanted to check to make sure that there were no concerns. I could put it in here so I make sure to contact them when I want to contact them. Or if I say, I'm going to follow up with you in two days, I contact them when I say I'm going to contact them. So I'm not, I'm being professional with my business. I'm taking it seriously what I said I'm going to do. Another really cool feature is the tag feature. So I'll click on this person's name right here and you can see that I've used comments for her a few different times because we've been in contact with one another. Right here, you can add tags. The two tags that I use the most right now are mini free challenge and contact for September. Um, basically what that's saying is that she was interested in the mini challenge that we were doing that was the clean eating group and that she was interested in learning more for the September group. I can actually click on these tags and see the people that have the exact same tags as her and they're all organized for me right there which is just super handy. Um, you can do that with different ones. Some of them are used more than others at this point. So that's how I use old and active contacts. As active contacts, and I need to update this um, still, so forgive me if it's a little lacking at the second. Um, as they start to become customers, I move them over into this section. Their tags still show. I have the dates right here for them because I like to remind my coaches and my customers for as long as I can until I get too busy that I just can't anymore when their Shakeology is going to renew. So that way it's not a surprise to them. Um, I, am a, I don't want someone to come to me and say, I can't believe this came out of my checking account. I wasn't prepared for it, and it to be a upset for them. I want them to be prepared. So I make a note to contact these people. Um, four or five days before it's going to renew so they know if they want to change flavors or anything. I have it as a reminder for me. I also have a list for my coaches, which I still need to update as well because I have a few new ones. Um, but they're all listed right here. And that takes me into my new coach checklist. So those are my four different kinds of contacts. 
after I get them into coaches, I want to know exactly what I'm going to do for them as a new coach so I don't miss any steps. I don't want to leave them hanging in any way. So Marissa and I came up with the steps that we want to take in order to make sure that we have um, within this, we have two different sections. So you can add a new section wherever you want and move it to wherever you want. We have one for just when they first sign up and then one for getting started. So after the initial sign up and initial welcome calls are over, what we're going to start doing for them after that. Um, one, for example, let me find, um, anyone that's under Kelsey, which is probably everyone in this group, right? Um, has probably got her welcome email. So I have a version that's personalized to Marissa and I of her welcome email that I send to my new coaches. Everything is right here so I can copy and paste it to them, as well as when it gets to the very bottom, because this was a long informational one, the five attachments that I want to send to them. So when I get to step three, when I walk them through the enrollment process and help them do their challenge pack refund if necessary, um, I can send them this email and everything is here written out for me, ready to go. So it's really kind of error proof. I just follow along with the steps that I have set out for myself and I go through them. And everything is here in the description about exactly what I need to be doing for each of them. Um, for our intro call, we have not really a script, but what we want to hit on with their intro call. So everything is literally here for us, which is the great thing about Asana. There's no looking around for files. There's no organizing in different parts of your computer with different people. I don't need to email anything to Marissa. Um, everything is right here for us. So as you know, we're newer to the company since we do everything together, this is so vital for our business because it's the easiest way for us to get things to each other and to communicate to each other while living across country from one another. Um, that's what I wanted to touch on for those ones. So now I'm going to be passing it back to Marissa so she can finish up the ways that we use Asana. Okay. And I'm going to be passing the screen around. So. Um, the other thing that Gabby and I really love to use Asana for is our challenge groups. And the way we do that is by putting all of our scripts, our daily videos, everything that we need into a nice little list. So you'll notice this co-hosted challenge group, like Gabby said, is unlocked, which means both Gabby and I have access to it at the same time, which makes it really nice because if you ever meet up to work on something together, you guys can see this. If I make a change here, Gabby's seeing it basically live. There might be like a half second delay, but you can work on it together and not have overlap. So we post things in here like every single day's worth of posts, which is really great because again, you just copy your script in there. You even can have your YouTube link in there as well. And those links are live. Um, so like this is Gabby's meal prep. So you can click that right out of Asana and it'll take you over to her video. Um, I am not going to play that whole thing for you. Um, but so you can see, and again, like Abby said, we attach things. So we have a bunch of pregame tools that we like to share with our challengers for their 21 day fix. We have tally sheets so that they can keep track of their containers. We have meal plans. We have um, the differences between the regular and the extreme versions. All of those attachments are right here that we like to provide to our challengers before they even get started. One thing that some coaches like to do is they number their um, posts. So they tend to stick to a very specific order and you can do that so that they, you know which day you're on. Um, but Gabby and I like to keep ours unnumbered so that we can modify it on the fly. Like maybe we have a couple challengers that are really, really interested in meal prepping and we had that plan for day five. Well, we'll just drag it up here and we'll move it to day two now. Uh, so you can drag your stuff around and reorder it. And then Gabby and I also like to put an asterisk if that day is done. That way you can easily see what the next topic is and which the last one that you posted was. Um, so that said, we also use it for our mini challenges. We have our clean eating and we have our mini fitness challenge. And again, 
you can just type in your text. This is what we're going to post for day one. It's right there. You copy and paste it into Facebook. So that's really, really nice. Um, one of the things that is nice also, if you're co-hosting a group and you want, we're divvying up the tasks. So Gabby and I alternate when we post things to our challengers. So we go through this list together and we decide who's going to take which topic and on which day. Since we both have access to this folder, you can click this little head right here to assign a task. So I decided Gabby's going to take this one. So I'm going to type in her name and I'm going to assign it. And now she is assigned that task. What that does is if we're not working on this together, she got an email right away saying you were assigned to a task. So you need to come and look at it. So that's really nice. If you're going to alternate between coaches and divvying up the tasks, you can assign them right here. And then each coach has their own list of things that they're going to be posting for your challenge groups. So that's the other thing that we really like to use this for. Um, it comes in really handy if you're co-hosting especially. And then the other thing that we really like to use Asana for, again, since we tend to work in team, is our promotional dates. So we have a list of all the dates that we wanna start promoting the new things. And so we put our list here and we decide, okay, for our three-day refresh, we're gonna start promoting that on August 17th. So we created this task, we came up here, and we decided the 17th is when we're going to send out a promo for that. And you can get together and you can put your notes in here for when that particular refresh actually starts. Um, you can, you know, put a note in there whether or not you want to do um, a soft promo or a blatant advertisement. Um, anything that you want that helps you keep this information organized, you can put in this description. Um, with that said, um, we put a lot of random things in here too. Um, we have a list of our personal development books that we wanna read. We keep them in here and then we decide which ones we're gonna read together because we like to do those together. So we have a laundry list of things that we wanna tackle. Um, we also have, um, I created this for uh, myself to keep me accountable in terms of reaching out to two people every day. I actually just started this yesterday. So I started making a connection. So I have an initial contacts list. Gabby likes to put them right into her active. I tend to put them right into my initial to see if they're even going to respond to me at all. But these are people that I've started the process of reaching out to. So I use this for my descriptions. This girl um, commented in a Barnes & Noble like page on Facebook. So I put that that's where I met her. And this is what she was talking about. So I have something to actually specifically reference to her when I reach out to her. And then if she decides that she wants to engage in a conversation or reply back, then I can move her into my active contacts list. So that's just another option for you. Um, and with that, I know that there are probably a lot of questions because that was a lot <laughs> of information to cover all at once. Um, so I guess we open it up now. I'm, I'm also going to say just two more things before Marissa and I forget. Um, for Asana, there is an app for your iPhone, and it is amazing because I can pull it out of my iPhone and look at it before I get on my computer the day and say, what do I have to do today? All on my phone, super easy. Um, definitely something if you're looking into using Asana that you should have. The other thing mm -hmm. I wanted to say just before we forgot is with customers, if you decide to use Asana, and you decide to use the dates like I do to remind myself to follow up, do not check off a customer's name because they will disappear from your customer list because they're done according to Asana. Because it's not made for this. We're using it for yeah. this and it works really well, but it's not perfect yet. <laughs> and don't freak out. Customer off, you can find them again. They're, yeah. they're in your completed task list. So you can get them back. It's not the end of the world, but they will disappear and all of a sudden they'll be off your radar and you'll forget about them. Exactly. So instead of um, checking them off, I will go in and just delete my reminder to do it. And that's my check off for customers. So I just wanted to say that so that way people don't start thinking like, where did all my active contacts go? Like I did for a long time just to realize that I checked them off and they disappeared. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Now, um, please questions, bring them. Yeah, that was a lot of information. I have a question. <laughs> So you guys have like the getting started right or the welcome email all in there with the attachments. Now, if I was to go in my email and just copy and paste, can you upload the attachments from Asana onto your email or how does that work? Um, there should, 
so from what I understand, it's a little bit different for different computers. Like Macs might do something different than a PC. So um, I can't speak for all computers, but I forgot that you guys can't see my screen and I started doing screen share things. Um, you should be able to drag and take it over like you would a picture or something like that. Okay, so you would just drag it and then it would just attach? Mm-hmm. Oh, I like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it, it, just makes it, yeah, it, it makes it a lot easier because um, if you are not a naturally organized person, because Marissa is and I'm not. No. Um, so I have right now on my computer, some of my Beachbody files are in my documents, some are in my downloads, some are in my all over the place. So this is a way for me to stay organized, if not on my computer, at least on my online office. So that way I'm not searching for a long time just to find a few files for someone. It's all organized and ready for me to go right there. Cool. Yeah, I'm not naturally organized. And I was looking at this and I'm like, dude, this could like totally change my life. <laughs> I've kind of played around with this on and I just haven't been able to stick with it. But I love you guys' system that you're doing with that. So it's awesome. I'm definitely going to whip it back out and try it. Yeah. Oh. Hey. Go Naima. Hey. Well, how much is um is sound free or is it cost? Super free. I'm yeah. not rich. It's free. super duper free. How free? All the free. Yeah. Yes. It's, it's something like if you if you want to start using it for like huge businesses and have like more than 20 users using it, then you have to start paying a fee. But if it's just you using it for your own personal stuff, real free. Real, real. Yeah. I need to get my life together and use this <laughs> thing. I'm telling you. I think it's like up to 10 users for free or something like that. And so I mean, have, like, your Marissa and I, we just use it for success partners. And if we want, we can share the templates with someone else. But I mean, we're not using it for every single person necessarily. Um, so it's not been an issue for us. And I don't think it's expensive, even if we did want to add everyone to our umbrella of Asana. Um, it's pretty inexpensive from what I understand, but right now it's real, real free. Mm -hmm. I have a question then real quick. So how would you recommend someone get started with it? Like doing it two and a half years and I have contacts and customers for two and a half years. What, how do I even get started? Any advice? Patience. A lot of patience. Um, when Marissa and I first started, we were doing it with our giveaway. And for those of you that don't know anything about it, maybe that's everyone, I don't know. But we did this giveaway on Instagram, and it got a lot of traction. So we had hundreds and hundreds of hundreds of things to put in in a couple days. So we just sat down and got to plug in. It wasn't difficult. It's just a little bit time consuming to get started. Now, to keep it updated, it's nothing. It's minutes a day. Um, but to get started, I remember sitting there, like, texting Marissa, being like, this is my life now. Asana is my life. You, yeah. you just have to kind of dedicate some time to it and accept that it's going to be frustrating for those couple days to make your life more simple afterwards. Totally yeah. worth it. I told Gabby it was a terrible idea when we first started. <laughs> this is a bad decision. I'm not doing this. I'm using Excel because that's where I had it all. But life-changing. Amazing. Awesome. Well, this has been Awesome. Thank you so much for sharing. Awesome. I have this question. How do you move a contact from active to um, old or whatever? Do you just drag him? Awesome drag. question. Um, so I'm going to take over you for a second. Um, you have, you have two options. You can pull somebody and drag them onto another list, or you can do the really cool thing that we just figured out that we could do. Yesterday. And you go, yeah, you can go right up here into the active contacts and just type a new list. So I want to move her to my old contacts. I type that in and boom, she's in a new list. Awesome. Cool. Okay. Thank you. Uh huh. I had the same question that you just answered. <laughs> I, have, I have a sauna and I've like, that was my goal for this month was to like get started, but I think I need to take like a full vacation day for my full-time job just so I can get it started. I really think I'm going to have to do that before my baby's born. But, um, my other question, I saw you guys had, um, the bat in just as like a check in your checklist. Mm -hmm. Do you have that in there as well that you track or do you just track it separately? You can have it in there. I don't because I'm a, I'm a hard copy kind of girl. I like to have a physical piece of paper in front of me that I write on. 
Um, so I don't, but some girls do attach it in there and you can, I think you can open it and save it. Is that right, Gabby? I don't know. Um, I, I honestly have no idea. Cause just like Marissa, I, I like writing it down and being able to scratch things out. I like that more. So I haven't tried that. Um, I'm going to try it for you and I'll let you know. Okay. You thank you. <laughs> You guys are awesome. I am so impressed <laughs> by all this. This is like, I don't know. This is changing. <laughs> I was it, like, oh my gosh, I texted Lindsay. And I'm like, I need to get my life together. <laughs> Asana can help you do that. I think so. <laughs> I would just tell people again, in the beginning, it's going to be overwhelming. I, it, it is overwhelming in the beginning just because you're putting in contacts hundreds of people's names and their emails and how you met them and things like that. But once it's in there, if someone contacts you and they, you know, ask you a question, you can go in and look up what you talked to them about last. And it's not skipping a beat. You're, you have that personalization to the, you know, 10th power because it's like you just talk to them and remember them specifically because it's hard to remember details about every single person we talk to. Yeah. And in this way, we can at least make it personalized to each person and make it look like we remember because our brains aren't perfect. And through Asana, we can fake perfection a little bit better. Yeah. And it's really time consuming to try to fish through your emails and then read your conversation chain and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, with Asana, your short little, you know, shorthand is right there. Now, do you add somebody, sorry, I'm taking over the question time. Do you add somebody like immediately after you talk to them or do you kind of just like wait till the evening and add everybody in at once? It's really up to you and what works best for you. Marissa and I don't have the exact same methods for each of ours, which is another reason that we don't have a lot of things shared because we do things differently. Um, Tara Porter does things way differently than we do. It's just whatever works for you. I find it easiest to take a chunk of my um, night office hours to do it instead of doing it during the day because otherwise I feel like I'm sitting there and I'm doing just like I used to on Facebook where I'm constantly on trying to keep up and it ends up being more time consuming than just doing it all at once. So that would be my suggestion, but it's really whatever time constraints work best for you. Yeah. And, and what I do, because I like to do things a little bit instantaneously, otherwise I, I tend to forget stuff. Um, but rather than, you know, loading my program, loading the app, doing all that right now, if I talk to somebody and they respond, I just jot a quick little handwritten note on my office desk with their name, just so that I know, see what happened and that's it. And then I'll go and upload it in my um, office hours. Awesome. Thank you guys so much. I'm yeah. so happy with this call. <laughs> We're excited. We're excited. <laughs> so with your daily task, like you clicked it off. So yeah. like then the next day, would it reappear or do you? Yes. Okay. So Marissa showed you guys how to make it on a daily repeat. We did that for all of our um, daily tasks, morning, afternoon, and night. You can even have weekly. Um, Terry Porter uses a weekly task. So she has that on a repeat weekly. Mm -hmm. um, we have the ones that we showed you on the daily. So as soon as you check it off, it'll pop back up, but say tomorrow instead of today. Mm -hmm. So that way you'll know to, that, to do it tomorrow. You've already done it today. So and it shows you the unicorn as proof. Exactly. I have a question. <laughs> Is it about the unicorn? <laughs> no, but that was really cool. Okay. I felt like it like brightened my, you know, evening a little bit. <laughs> so, okay, would this be something that I could delegate someone to do? Like if I gave them my contact list, my customer list, all of that, would that be an easy thing or do you yes. need more details? Okay. Okay. I mean, I wish that I had someone to do that for me suddenly. Yeah. Um, I mean, you might want to go in afterwards and just make sure that things are right, obviously, but if you could get, they'll have to kind of work with you in the beginning because, I mean, they might not get the hang of it, but yeah, I, I don't, don't see a reason that you wouldn't be able to. Just, you know, shorthand, like Marissa said, like what you talked about, what you did, so they can write in the comments because those things are, if you're missing the comments, what you talked about, then you're missing the whole point of Asana. So just make sure that you have some way to include that with them. Okay, so um, it's so much more than just a contact list. So yeah, like if I just wanted someone to get all the contacts in there and then I could go in. That would be perfect. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Make your minion do it. Awesome. <laughs> I, I wish I had a minion. <laughs> They're like, do you have to have a Google email address or like can you use this with any address or how does that work? Any address. If you have Google, it's super seamless, but if you, yeah. you can sign up on your own and create your own. 
You can. You can use any of them. Google, the only thing that's really nice about having a Google email is you can just tell it to log in with your Google and you don't have to like mess around with your password or anything like that. Um, only a Google address will do that, but anything, you can use it with anything though. Okay, thanks. Yeah. What else you guys got? I have a question. So if it's on Google, oh, what is that? <laughs> so on Google, does it sync your contacts from, from Gmail? Mm. Um, I, from what I've read, that should be some sort of a way to do it, but if you're doing that, then you're going to have to go in by hand and add everything anyways, so I haven't even played around with that function, honestly. There's some sort of a contact merging tool, but because you're going in and having to add all the things, I just decided it'd just be easier just to do it by hand anyways. Mm -hmm. Minute and a half left, guys. Now's your chance. <laughs> We're gone forever and no more questions. <laughs> you may or may not know the answer to this. So I have the, my website and I have a lot of my documents on KelseyShackley.com and it's mm -hmm. actually like in, oh gosh, Google Drive or something that I've mm -hmm. had so, like just synced to it. So you click on it, it takes you to my Google Drive. Can mm -hmm. I do that with Asana? That's a really great question that I don't have the answer to. I do know that, I mean, Google Drive and Asana, they're all related to some extent. So, I mean, I would say the possibility is high, but I don't know yeah. for sure. Because I just found out what Google Drive is yesterday, so I'm not super hit with that. Um, I'm going to look that up for you, though. No, you don't have to look it up for me. I just wondered if you knew. No, no, she's doing it. It's too late. No, I'm doing it, so consider it done. <laughs> You're funny. You're sweet. All right, guys. I think it's going to beat us off. I think so. Well, we'll just wave and say goodbye, and I'll see everybody on Facebook. You guys did it great. That was super helpful. It was great. Oh, my gosh. Thank you so much, girls. Thank you. Love you. Bye.